everyone. I'm Glenn Sedgefield, Director of Marketing for DMI. As a part of our ongoing DMI University webinar program, we would like to start interviewing our presenters beforehand to offer some additional insight into the financial professional topics we will discuss throughout the new year. And our first presenter for 2022 happens to be Roberta Eckert, a vice president with Nationwide's Retirement Institute. She possesses more than 30 years in the financial industry and speaks to thousands of people every year around retirement income topics. In the month of January, we have the honor of her presenting a webinar series called Legacy Essentials. So on January 12th at noon, part one will cover empathy and aging. Then on January 26th at noon, part two will cover wealth transfer. Roberta, thank you so much for being here. So Roberta, my yes. first question, why is legacy essentials important? Well, you know, when clients age, the role that the agent and the financial professional has really shifts along with that process. You know, it shifts from investment guidance and then moves to retirement income planning and then to end of life planning. And that last phase can be really emotionally sensitive uh, for both parties involved, really. But it's perhaps the most important service that an agent can provide for a client as well as their family members. And so we began with research that revealed how important empathy training or empathy training and empathy is uh, really an elevating confidence among your clients. And it's especially helpful for legacy planning that you have deep conversations with clients and that they view you as a trusted partner. And that's going to be discussed on our first webinar on January 12th. Now, if I were to ask any financial professional that I know, if they feel that they are empathetic, they would say, well, of course I'm empathetic. And that's great, but it's only scratching the surface. It's not enough just to be empathetic. It's even more important that your clients know and believe you to be empathetic. And that's really what's going to drive that trust and credibility that you have with them. So how do you communicate that to your clients? You can't just go up to them and say, I'm empathetic. Uh, you really have to find tools that allow you to communicate that um, in the ways that uh, really build that trust. So that's what we're going to explore on January 12th, as well as the actual science behind becoming more empathetic. Across all demographic groups that were recently surveyed to determine what factor is most impactful in driving trust, the greatest element that came up time and time again was empathy. So additionally, since we're going to be having this discussion at the beginning of the year, um, an agent can also bring real value to their clients by discussing estate planning and wealth transfer. It might be a good time to do a beneficiary review. You know, at the beginning of the year, people are always trying to, you know, kind of organize, get things in order, all that sort of thing. The equities markets have delivered big returns in 2021. I don't think that's a surprise to anybody, but perhaps uh, clients would like to re-examine how they're going to transfer that potentially larger wealth. The new year always brings planning opportunities, whether it's planning a vacation, uh, maybe changing homes, uh, maybe it's legacy planning. You know, great response. Thank you so much. Uh, so also, uh, how can this education help an agent's business? Well, I think really two words, and that is preserving assets. And there is an enormous intergenerational wealth transfer on the horizon. And it's so important to plan ahead. So if agents don't take the initiative now to discuss legacy planning with their clients, then they're at really risk of losing assets. And there's some actual evidence to prove that, really big numbers. And the, as I mentioned, those numbers really support this concept. So for example, 87% of affluent investors report not using their parents' financial professional when their parents pass away. And in fact, when pressed about why they didn't, a lot of them said, the thought never even occurred to me. 70% of women switch their wealth relationship to a new financial institution within a year, just one year of their spouse's death. So 
Why such high numbers? Well, number one, um, a lot of affluent investors already have their own financial professional, and they've already built a solid relationship with that individual. Uh, the second reason, they don't know their loved one's financial professional or agent. The professional hasn't really attempted to build relationships with that next generation or with the other family members. And then third, they find that their loved one's financial professional can be difficult to work with. Maybe they don't understand uh, this, the next generation. Uh, they might perceive them to be out of touch, things like that. So again, coming back to the answer to your question to distill it down, wealth preservation, preserving assets. Yeah, well, and, and that leads into my next question, which is, you know, on, on the 26th, we're going to be doing a webinar, or you're, you're going to be helping me with a webinar, presenting a webinar around wealth transfer. And don't you think most agents have a pretty good understanding of wills, trusts, et cetera, or maybe not? No, absolutely they do. I think if you were to poll uh, so many agents and financial professionals, they really have a great grasp of all of that. But something that I kind of alluded to a little earlier when I was talking about empathy is how do you communicate that to the clients? So this is about communicating your value to your clients and their beneficiaries. So if clients aren't made aware of a financial professional's depth of knowledge, they might not know about these planning concepts. And there have been a few things that have come along recently, like the SECURE Act, um, coupled with the new year, that I think collectively pose some great opportunities to engage in this type of planning with your clients. So yeah, I think a lot of people do, but you know, how do you take all that knowledge and make sure that uh, your clients understand what it means to them and that you are in possession of that knowledge as well? Yeah, no, that's a, that's a huge deal, huge deal. Well, where can uh, an agent obtain more information about Legacy Essentials? Well, we're really proud at the Nationwide Retirement Institute that we took on this topic probably about a year ago, and there are three different components to legacy, pardon me, legacy essentials, all of which we're gonna be covering on our two webinars. And with any program that we do at the Nationwide Retirement Institute, we have a lot of collateral for you to utilize. Some of these uh, topics also come with them, client presentations that uh, myself or other members on my team can deliver to clients, either through a webinar, which is usually the best way of going about it these days. But we also, in addition to the two agent webinars coming up January 12th and January 26th, um, where we're going to discuss all three of those components, as I mentioned, uh, we also have a lot of tools, including some client-approved collateral. So the website, which I know you're going to post on your site as well, Glenn, is nationwidefinancial.com forward slash um, Nationwide Retirement Institute, forward slash Legacy Essentials. But I know that you're going to get that up on your website. And of course, when we do the webinars, I'm going to uh, post that link as well. But that's where you can find some infographics, really quick bites that uh, help understand why this is so important for your practice. There's some white papers, uh, podcasts, um, and again, the ability to access our team so that we can discuss bringing this information to your clients. And just so you know, the three uh, components of Legacy Essentials are elevating your empathy, aging with dignity, and the third is estate planning and wealth transfer. So my business unit, which is the Nationwide Retirement Institute, our mission is to break down and simplify complex retirement com concepts, uh, not just for clients, but for financial professionals as well. Because I think a lot of it comes down to, we know this stuff, but how do we communicate it in a really effective way to our clients so that they can take appropriate action for um, uh, what's meaningful to them. So we want them to be confident in their retirement. So I look forward to delivering this webinar content in a few weeks. You know what? I, I can't wait myself. I, this is going to be a good one, Roberta. And uh, you know what? We, I think we have like-minded missions and that's what DMI University is about. And that's why we're going to carry this content on, on our site. So uh, we will see that on a uh, Legacy Essentials page uh, with that link that, uh, that you just mentioned. And um, you know, again, we do this because at DMI, we believe that our success is your success and vice versa. So 
Um, and I know Nationwide feels the same way. So uh, we really appreciate you uh, helping us, Roberta. And thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, Glenn. It was my pleasure and look forward to delivering the content in several weeks. Have a nice day and happy new year. You too.